So we have just arrived at Rockingham, which is where the um, kite surfing guys all hang out at. There's a big sand spit, but it's, it's really famous. Here. It's a well known kiting spot. Yeah, it's in the an world. internationally recognised spot. Internationally recognised kiting spot in the world. Man, let's get into it! Woo! Yeah. I was killing it. I was killing it. I did some loops. I did some rotation, a lot of rotations, and just some rotations. I've been trying to get doubles and triple back crawl. I didn't get any triples. I had a lot of crashes and my legs are very sore. So, I was riding my scooter today and had a break. Um, my back axle. Right here, this is half of the axle. Yep. Um, I don't have the, oh, I do have the other half. It's in here. It's stuck in there. Um, and also when I, cause when it broke, it dented the spacer around the side. If you look around, this is this one's round, but this one's kind of dented in one spot. So that snapped. And then I've got it, I've got, so I'm pulling it out this way. I've got this much out, but now it's in here. The dent, the dented part is holding the axle in there still. Yeah. So, I, I've got a drill, and I'm gonna drill it out, because I need to also get that dent out, so this will get the dent out. Hey! Boom. I might just... Oh, hell no, no, I wouldn't drill through there. No, you don't wanna drill through. Just, all you wanna do, check the other bolt's gonna go through there. Wait, I'll put it, I'll put it in and see if it'll slide through. Look at that. The reason why I never use these poly grips is because Didn't I, I can them? never figure out how to move them to get them bigger and smaller. But Dad has just told me, push this nifty little button. And look at that. Look at that. It's good, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Here, Ivan has a spear axle from his old scooter. Fit? No, I have to get that. Remove that axle. Put it on the new one. Look at that. Easy as that. Feel like I'm on top of the world. Look at how I made it. Feel like the greatest. Feel like the greatest. Feel like I'm on top of the world. So we left at uh, 4 30 this morning out of Fremantle Sailing Club and we're heading south now. Aim is Bustleton. Uh, How far is that? It's about 95 miles. We Ooh. may not we may not make it today. Uh, we may have to pull into Bunbury. We'll see how we go. Uh, but at the moment we're sailing directly for Karnak Island. We're gonna hit Karnak Island. But the reason I'm doing that is so I can wing the sails but the main out on the starboard side and the Genoa out on port side. And when we get closer to Karnak itself, we'll turn 30 or 40 degrees to south to port and throw the Genoa out onto a full port tack. And we'll cruise on down the coastline. You've got to watch out for cray pots though. We've already passed two quite close to us. Just, just little boys floating in the ocean. And there's also markers out there we have to swerve around too. It's quite a busy little area. But it's lovely sailing, downwind, flat, calm. We've got easterlies off the off the mainland Australia all the way today, hopefully. Oh, uh, actually by <laughs> mid to late afternoon, it's yeah. possibly going to swing around and we may have to motor a little bit, but we'll see how we go. But she's really good conditions at the moment. Something that's very important <laughs> yeah. to Ivan is to be tall and he's trying his very best to be he's tall. <laughs> he's 14. There's a lot of competition <laughs> between mean? Rob and Ivan so as to who old. is the tallest. So and today <laughs> we're going to have a look and see if Ivan has actually pushed on past Rob. Rob hasn't been trying as hard as Ivan, I've got to say. Back to Rob's back. kind of given up. I've backed off on my training. Really, really backed off on getting taller. Ivan, 
What? I'm going to give Ivan a B plus. Could do better, Rob. Hey! Well <laughs> you live to fight another day. This is Rob, and I'm Rachel, and these are our boys, Finn, Declan, and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelo across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. Here we are in Bustleton. Here we are indeed. So it's clean up Australia day. I don't know why they have to start so early in the morning, seven o'clock. We're supposed to head over to the end of the jetty. We're here in Bustleton. We've registered, or we hope we've registered, to help clean up under the jetty, under the water, scuba diving, picking up rubbish, and then they're gonna just check it all out and see how much they can get in a day. Let's get going. Busselton is a stunning coastal town in southwest Australia, with the jetty at its heart. A heritage listed feature, the jetty was originally a commercial venture loading and unloading goods. Now it's a popular tourist attraction, which extends 1.8 kilometres into Geograph Bay and is the largest wooden pile jetty in the Southern Hemisphere. One of the many benefits in joining the underground jetty cleanup was our chance to experience the vividly coloured tropical and subtropical corals, sponges and fish that called the jetty home. So all in all, and they haven't actually got the people closest in to here because they're still trying to pull out a shopping trolley, I believe. But our group and the group beyond us at the end of the pier, we got 98 kgs of rubbish, which is not a lot really, but surprising as well. One of the weirdest things, it was a little pot. It looks very old or it's been in the water a very long time. Otherwise, fishing, twine and lures, lots of lures and uh, lots of bottles, those yeah. are the main things. Yeah, lures and scissors and things isn't it? Yeah, okay. seem to be quite a staple. You can imagine people up on the jetty fishing and they're cutting their little bit of nylon yeah. line and show for Actually goes. someone lost a whole fishing rod, that would have been a, a bad rod, day yeah. for them. <laughs> fishing rod, was there uh, a fishing rod found? Yeah. Oh, no. Bad day fishing. I would have dived in after that one. Yeah. 
a lot of fun. Glad we did it. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good. I, you know, I actually I feel really good. I feel really invigorated. Early morning start. You know, cold water. Invigorating. And we got to do a bit of sightseeing, see the fish and uh, all the all the sightseeing. Crawls. Invigorated face. Look at that face. Oh, that is invigorated. And now, now invigorated. <laughs> We're going shopping. Going to see How avocados. Exciting. Avocados. You know, Coffee. You can only go so far up before you have to come back down again, isn't that right? Good job. Although the boys accompany Rob and I to the Jetty Interactive Centre to learn more about the history of the Jetty, we're gonna go look at the museum and it's gonna be awesome. Woo! Ivan is more often than not to be found day and night at Busso Skate Park, a hop, skip, and a jump from the anchorage. Ivan and Declan have many friends in the town after passing through here last year. When we got the chance to do our first ever night dive under the jetty with Paul from SV Solar, we weren't too disappointed that the boys didn't want to join us. They preferred to sit this one out with company at their home away from home. Going for a night dive, it's quite exciting. And uh, the boys aren't coming, so guys, if we never come back, I love you. You've been a joy to travel with. Oh, I'm getting all teary. <laughs> and the money, is in the billions of stars in the Milky Way makes for a marvelous night for me. Singing beside voices say, Be an It's a rite of passage for every young fella to jump off this jetty. It's a scorcher of a day, so I'm gonna go for it. Beautiful day. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps. Come on, you need it.